Hi, I'm Chaplain Mark, and I wanted to bring you today this, this recording of music and, and words so that you could find some peace in your life. We know it's very difficult to be alone all the time and, and not to be able to see your loved ones. We know that the staff at SCAND has given you good care, but it's always, it's always the, the presence and the touch of ones that we love that become that we miss the most in times like these. We pray with God's strength we'll be able to get through it. This reading comes from the Book of Lamentations. I called on your name, O Lord, from the depths of the pit. You heard my plea. Do not close your ears to my cry for help, but give me relief. You came near when I called on you. You said, do not fear. From Psalm 56. You have kept count of my tossings, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? 
Then my enemies will retreat in the day when I call, this I know, that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid. reading from the Reverend Kenneth Patton, Our Common Bonds. Know the bonds by which we are bound to one another, for we are not alone. A person is a road where brothers and sisters may walk. The body is the bed of a stream through which flow the many waters of this world. The heart is a city where brothers and sisters may build their dwelling. A person is many wires strung in the wind, and we must sing the song of the air that flows over us. Tears awaken tears, and laughter awakens laughter. Another one's sorrow takes up lodging within us. When the stranger weeps at the death of a loved one, we too must weep. For the death of one is the symbol of the death of all, and no one can escape its meaning. When one baby is born, it is a symbol of all birth and life. Therefore all must rejoice, and all must lose their hearts to a child. Hunger bites all, desire afflicts us all alike. All are opened by love and moved by the ecstasy of another. One enveloping air gives breath to those of all continents, and one sun shines on us all. From the same river of time has come all the water of life. All smile with their lips and weep with their eyes. A smile disregards the color of face, and the moaning of grief is alike in all tongues. Pity and compassion are the deep work of humanity. They speak forth the completeness of our being.
Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A reading by Rollo Russell. The glory of life is upon me. How beautiful is the morning, all light in its tranquility. Clear blue is the depth of heavens, and the earth is silent and calm. The bloom is purple on the mountains, the waters are transparent in the valley. The sweet grass is an emerald floor, and the vesture of earth is aglow with rejoicing life. The encircling sea the breaking waves upon the rocks, the serenity of inland calm, the friendly trees of the forest, their noble forms, the quiet glades, the flowers of hill and valley, the swelling downs, the hamlet that nestles below, the country, mine own people, unutterably beloved, whose future I long to know, the children most precious, most to be revered, born of heaven to be soldiers of life and light. The glory of life is upon me, the vision of a pure delight. The people shall be as one family, the happiness of each shall be sought by all. Fear will fall from our dwellings, and the night shall be safe with open doors.
And so as our time together closes, I want to share with you this version of the Lord's Prayer, translated from the Aramaic, the language of Jesus. O thou from whom the breath of life comes, who fills all realms of sound, light, and vibration, may your light be experienced in my utmost holiest, your heavenly domain approaches. Let your will come true in the universe, just as on earth. Give us wisdom for our daily need. Detach the fetters of faults that bind us, like we let go of the guilt of others. Let us not be lost in superficial things, but let us be freed from that which keeps us off from our true purpose. For you comes all the working will, the lively strength to act, the song that beautifies all and renews itself from age to age. Amen. And I will pray that you find peace and you find comfort in these days and times where we are all so troubled. God bless you all. Until we meet again, be safe and be at peace.